Guys, what's up and welcome back to a new episode on this channel. And today we are creating this animation. It's a card animation for your onboarding applications or parts of your application. And we are also, as you may have seen it already, uh, we are also animating the indicators which are at the bottom of these cards. So I think this is a use case which is like important for any kind of app. And of course, I would like to help you go through this, help you animate these cards and just to like enhance your skills on this aspect of uh, like onboarding design. Now today I enabled the keystrokes so you can see them. They are on the left side. If so, if I like, for example, say I would like to copy this and then you would just see the keystrokes. And if you like that, if you like the keystrokes and if you in general enjoy the videos, just hit the thumb up button. This is really supporting me and is getting more visibility on my videos. Okay guys, so we are back, we are in Sketch and we are going to import this user interface into Principal. All the, the files to uh, download are also down in the video description, so check that out. And we simply open up Principal, we have it right here. And what we are going to do now is to simply hit import and it's already right here and we can say import it. Boom, there it is. We have our file and you also see we have these different cards already stacked right there. But to uh, get a better effect, to really help ourselves with the animation of these cards, because right now I will just show it to you um, really quick. Right now, if I just do it really quick, you see that we have some weird spacing problems. So these cards aren't positioned. Only the first one is, is in a good position, but the second and third one aren't positioned in a great way. We are going to change that. We are going to change that. So let me undo this real quick. What we have to do at first is to make sure that every single card has the exact position. So what we're going to do is to copy the background and to position it just about like this. And we are copying and pasting it again and placing it at this side. So right now we need to grab our cards and position them in the center of this background layer. So this is the first step, which is already kind of important, um, but it's not, that's not it. So we can simply get rid of the, of the background layers. So now simply select all of your cards and group them up. So you see the keystroke at the bottom. So we have these cards right there. And right now we have to change the group size, not of the size of the content, but the size of our artboard. So right now you see um, if we change it to a uh, horizontal page uh, navigation, then it's already kind of great. The second one is fine, but the third one is still mixed up. So we have to keep working on that. So there is a little workaround. We have to um, cheat a little bit. So go into your group and hit R to create a new rectangle. Now this rectangle will help us because we are, oops, we're going to change the size of it to three times the size of our artboard. The artboard has the width of 750 pixels. So we go three times 750, just like that. Um, then what we're going to do is to simply change the opacity all the way over to 0% so we don't really see it because who wants this gray bar in their user interface. So if we are going to look at our design right now, you see every single card is positioned in a correct way. Every single card is just positioned perfectly, even the last one. So this is like the step one to animate these cards. But of course, if we are like animating these cards, we also want our indicators to change. So what we're going to do with this one is to go into drivers. We have our cards right here. And you see that once these are scrolling, 
that we of course want our indicators right down here to change, to be changed actually. So uh, let me make this a little bit smaller like that. And this as well. So what we are going to do is to go to our pagination and we simply have three layers and these have a different fill. So of course the first one is already how we want it to be. But when we are in this position right here, 750 right there, we want this first pagination layer to have a different uh, fill actually but we can also just change the opacity. I don't know, maybe we can add a different fill. No, we have to work with different effects. So for example, we could say we want to change the opacity. So the opacity should be changed to, let's say 50%, just like that. But we have to start of course at zero. So we have this line right here, which is helping us to get the effect done. So at this uh, zero precision, we want it to be at 100% and here it should be at 50. So if we go over, you see in our little design uh, right here that it's actually changing. So of course we should also be able to change this. Um, but I would like to change the color to a uh, like a brown one because this card is brown, this is blue, this is purple. So we will give these different pagination, uh, pagination layers some um, like respective colors. So we can simply go using this pipette tool to pick a nice color. Maybe we are going to change the opacity of the background layer a little bit so we can really focus on the content and see our colors better. Mm, not really sure about that. Maybe we go back to maybe we go back to this one right here. Okay. So now this is already kind of great. This is the first step that we did. So have this layer, maybe make it a little bit darker, just around like that, and we get the effect. On, of, co of course, what we also want to do is from zero to 750 to have these two other layers to have a lower percentage of opacity, of their opacity. So we change it to 50%. So what we have to do is to do the same with uh, both of these layers. So let's select both of them, change them to 50%. Of course, we have to also select opacity. And right now, when we want our second uh, element to change, we have to say that from uh, from these positions right here, it should go up to 100%. So this one should go up. And of course it should have the blue color of our background. So probably around like that. This should do the trick for us. Oops. So if we navigate right now, you see that we have a small switch of colors. We can't really see it that good. I think we will tune in and we will like change the details uh, later on. But for now, I would just like to focus on the main animation. So this is already working fine. And the third one should of course still be at 50% after these changes. Okay, so let's move on. Right now, we want, of course, to have the 1300 pixels. No, we want to have these. Ah, yeah, of course, 
uh, we want to have this full amount the double sorry not 1300 but 1500 pixels just right there this is the right amount because this is right now showing us the third card and as I said we would like to have a purple one right there make the color a little more vibrant and uh, as I said we would like to change our first oops our first uh, pagination layer which is this one to get a changed opacity to still yeah 50% so we can also say to make it like to have it also right there and then the next one the next thing what we're going to do is to change our second uh, layer which is the blue one all the way over to 50% like that and the third one should of course right now be 100% so as you see we now finished the three pagination uh, layers at the bottom but uh, I think uh, they are not really visible in a great way so I would like to enhance the visibility by changing their colors so I would like to go and maybe make this a little more dark like around like that I would like to change the second one make it more vibrant like that and the third one should also get a better visibility and I would like to change all of these aspects like the opacities that we changed to from 50% uh, to maybe 30% like this so we have to select these different layers this one yeah it's at fi uh, 100 and this also 30% and we have to do the same on the last one on our last step basically or keyframe or whatever you want to call it and if we go over to the zero we have to do the same with our second item and with our third item like that so if I'm going to make our animation a little bit bigger right now just to show it to you we should now be able to have a really nice animation of these cards of course but also of these pagination elements at the bottom okay so this was a new principle tutorial in which I showed you how you work with card animations but also how you can animate these uh, like indicators or pagination items or whatever I hope you enjoyed it if you enjoyed it as I said already hit the thumb up button or subscribe to the channel if you haven't so thanks guys we see us in the next tutorial this video was sponsored by Dev Mountain. If any of you are interested in learning UX design, Dev Mountain is a 12 week design bootcamp intended to get you a full time job in the industry. You can learn more about this at devmountain.com or by clicking the link in the video description. Thanks for watching the video and we see us in the next one. Bye!